Hello and welcome to the video how to live migrate a Hyper-V VM with a VTPM chip. My name is Carsten Rachval and I'm a Microsoft Cloud and Data Center Management MVP. So let's just dive into the demo. Here we see a four node storage basis direct cluster or you can also say Azure Stack HCI cluster. And I have three VMs running. Two are called VTPM1 and VTM. TPM2, and I connect to the second one. So let's just log in. It's just a normal virtual machine. We have no network, no speciality. Um, and if I open the device security, you see here we have a TPM chip. Yeah, in the virtual machine. We can also see that in the settings of the virtual machine. Here under settings, security, it's a generation 2 VM. We see that the encryption support and the enabled trusted platform module is enabled. And in the virtual machine, we can then use the TPM chip, for example, for BitLocker. And this VM is BitLocker. So if someone uh, steals the VM, um, he can't get into the device in the virtual disk because it's encrypted with BitLocker and uh, he needs um, a password for that, this emergency key. So if he don't have, have that key, he can't get into the machine. For example, this is nice for domain controllers because domain controllers um, um, have a problem. If you get a virtual disk of a domain controller, you can just open it on another Windows server or on a Windows 10 machine. And then uh, there is a domain database on this disk. And there are tools in the internet where you can uh, do a brute force attack and get all the passwords of the users in the domain. And we don't want that. So. This is nice, uh, but if I have such a machine in a cluster, I would like to live migrate it. And if we go back to the cluster, and I go here and say live migrate, and I migrate it to, uh, to the node 4, you see the live migration starts, but the operation did not complete on resource virtual machine. And there is a problem with the virtual machine. So let's show critical events. And here we have the event details. Live migration of virtual machine VTPM2 failed. Virtual machine migration operation failed at migration destination. The version of the device, Microsoft Virtual TPM device of the virtual machine is not compatible with the device on physical computer, Tarox, and so on. The key protector for the virtual machine could not be unwrapped. Host guardian service returns one or more arguments are invalid. Details are included in the host guardian service client event log. So um, host guardian service is a service where you can protect your whole environment uh, um, with, for example, shielded virtual machines. And shielded virtual machines is really great to protect uh, your environment, but it's a little bit more complex to set it up. You need a host guardian service cluster with three hosts. They should be on hardware, not in virtual machines. And uh, I just want to encrypt the domain controllers and still want to live migrate them. So there is a solution for that. First, when we when we look at Tarox S2D2, and here I have opened the local certificates. And you see here, we have a shielded VM local certificate directory, and there are certificates. And I already have added the certificates here for host one, two, and three, um, and host four is missing. So if we look at Tarox S2D4, open the third tool, you see here, we don't have this directory. So let's look back 
Here it is shielded VM local certificates and it's not present on this host. The reason for that is all, how do we get that directory? It's quite easy. We have to, to enable a virtual TPM chip on a VM. So I move the benchmark VM to node 4. Oh, it's turned off, so I do a quick migration. Now it's on node 4. I go to the settings of the benchmark VM to the secure boot or the security part and here I enable the trusted platform module and when I do apply and let's reload or let's close the certificate MMC plugin it's not card it's cert let's open it again and now we see when I get it a little bit bigger now we have this directory shielded VM local certificates and here the system has generated two certificates the shielded VM encryption certificate and the shielded VM signing certificate and they are valid for 10 years so we created it today and they are valid for 10 years so now I have to export these certificates and import them, them on the other nodes of the cluster. Important is you have to export them with the private key. Without the private key, the live migration will not work. So I do that. Um, that's okay. I give it a password. And I choose a file name. See here, I have already the certificates from the other host. So I take this one, save. No, I don't want the second one, sorry. I want host four, save, next, finish. Okay, and I have to do that with the second certificate. Choose again the file name. I'm lazy, so I copy one. Next, finish. So and now we have to import all the certificates. I will do that on every host and after that I come back and show you the live migration. So now I'm back. I'm importing the last certificate to Tarox Note 4. So I go to import and then I choose the file, but it's uh, not a cert file. It's a PFX file because we have the private key included. And I choose the signing one. Now I have to enter the password and let's import the certificate. Okay, here. So we have now eight certificates in the directory shielded VM lo local certificates. And we look on every node here we have four. Here we have four, one too much, and here we have four. And now we try the live migration again. I choose the VM again. I go to move, live migrate, selected node. I choose node four. And now the live migration is working. And we also can move the VM everywhere we want to. Also, this VM. Yeah. 
Okay, that was a short video how you can configure um, live migration with an active VTPM chip. Uh, of course, it's better to use a full, full shielded VM experience, but it's a bit, a bit much that I said before. So if you want to have your bit lockered VMs and live migrate them, that's the way to go. And it also works outside of a cluster. So if you have single nodes, you can also do a live migration between the nodes, but you have to import the certificates.